So this tutorial is going to show you how to make creamy cheesy scrambled eggs at home. The first thing you need is a little bit of salt and you'll also need some eggs. I'm going to be using four eggs. You'll also need a little bit of shredded cheese, a little bit of oil for the pan, and you'll need a nonstick pan and a wooden spoon. So let's get started. Take a bowl and you'll need to crack all your eggs into the bowl. Now I'm using four eggs, however, I'm only going to be using one egg yolk and four egg whites. But you can use any ratio you want. If you want to use complete full eggs, you can just use two or three at the most. Or you can do what I do and use mostly egg whites with one egg yolk or even no egg yolks if that's what you like. So just crack all the eggs into the bowl and take out that nasty white stuff that seems to cling on and then just beat the eggs together. Then you want to add a little bit of salt and pepper and then mix it all together again. Now, you want to put a little bit of oil into the pan, and I like to spread it out with a paper towel to make sure it's completely even and coated and there isn't too much oil in the pan. Then you want to turn on the heat to a low medium setting. I'm using number four, and then pour all your eggs into the pan at once. Make sure you scrape off all the excess in the bowl. So now you just want to move the pan around until you start to see that the eggs are starting to cook and once that happens you can start stirring it and you want to be doing this constantly until it's about halfway cooked. That way none of the eggs will be overcooked or burned onto the pan or anything like that. So just keep stirring it until it is about halfway cooked. Once it's about halfway cooked, you can add the cheese in and you can use as much as you want. I'm using about a quarter cup of cheese. This is just shredded mozzarella cheese that I bought at the grocery store, so nothing special, but you can use any type of cheese you want and you can put as much or as little as you want and you just wanna keep stirring it. Oh, also, once you add the cheese, you wanna lower the heat by one number and just keep stirring it until everything is fully cooked. And add more cheese if you want, like me, because I love cheese. So yeah, keep stirring, and soon it will be all fully cooked. Then you can take it off the heat and plate it. And then you'll have a delicious plate of scrambled eggs. It's nice and creamy and cheesy, and you can dig right in. So make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will link them down below. I love to post on Instagram and Twitter. And make sure to subscribe for more videos and check out my other videos too, because I don't just do cooking videos. So make sure to check that out, and I'll talk to you guys later. There's a sun above me. I'm literally sitting on the edge of this Ikea chair right now. Like a boss. Just to film this. <laughs> my kitchen's ugly. <laughs>